we're going to send okay. everybody to Twitter. Go to at Hot Fest. This is DJ Corus Will. And this is Shout Out for Cause. Thank you. What are we going to Waiting our turn. And follow the on Twitter and talk. All right, you guys, thanks for being patient. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Becky. Hello, I'm Shannon from Autism Live. Can we talk? Nice to meet you. And we're on, my brother, Alex. So nice to meet you. We're on Facebook Live right awesome. now. Is that okay? Hey, Say hi to our folks. Okay, and Good. so oh, wow. Becky and Alex, so that thrilled to cool. have you guys here. So you know, there's been a lot of talk about the Power Rangers and a lot of support from the autism community. Talk a little bit about what the conversation was, because a lot of people are shocked. It hasn't there hasn't been a huge amount of press, but one of the Power Rangers is on the autism spectrum. Yeah, I think it's amazing, and I think that um, I feel like it was done in such a classy way. And, and really honest and genuine too. I think um, the movie itself for this generation knocks down a lot of the walls and a lot of the boxes that people try to put um, other people in, right? So for instance, especially with autism, um, I myself have had the experience because of my brother Alex being diagnosed when he was so young. Um, you know, what people can say or what people can assume or think what autism is or knowing someone with autism or being someone with autism, and um, I think uh, RJ, my great friend who plays Billy, the Blue Power Ranger, who is on the spectrum, did such an amazing job at applying himself 100% and humbling himself to not have those preconceived assumptions or ideas of what that is, and just kind of starting from scratch, and even sitting down with me and saying, hey, so you grew up you know, with your brother being autistic, how was it for you? Because the truth is, is it's not just Alex who deals with it, it's, it's the family as well. My parents had a lot to figure out. The sibling, get both of you in the shot together. I remember um, a lot of times, because we had uh, gone to the same school for a couple of years in elementary, and I remember being in fifth grade and always wondering like, man, Alex has no patience to wait in the lunch line sometimes. I wonder why. You know, or um, sometimes him being on the playground and he d wasn't very social and he didn't really want to hang out with the big crowds of, of kids. Um, or certain family events would make him feel uncomfortable and when he was ready to leave, he was ready to leave. And so as I got older, just sitting down and having conversations with him and just really understanding how his brain works. Because even I myself, for instance, I don't have much patience sometimes. I get very easily frustrated if I can't figure something out. Um, and so just kind of seeing the way RJ himself sat down and was like, tell me about your brother. Does he have specific mannerisms? Does he, has he ever said anything to you that stuck with you? And I was like, yeah, I was like, actually, and I'll never forget, I don't know if you remember this, but there was a time where Alex was having a hard time in school, and he explained to me, and he goes, sister, it's just sometimes my education is at war with my imagination. I just don't see the numbers the way everyone sees the numbers, and I don't see the letters the way everyone sees the letters. It's just kind of, is what it is. It's just different. You know, they see lines and I see colors, and they see numbers and I see letters. And I was like, that's so interesting. And so for him to be able to communicate that and how he felt, I was like, wow, you're very special. You're very intelligent in your own way. And um, I feel like that was really... Um, expressed and, and show, showcased uh, in the movie with Billy especially because he is by far the smartest one out of all of us. <laughs> kind of, he's the one that comes through in the last second when we really need something. He's like the brains of the team. And so here you get cast in Power Rangers which is its own excitement. At what point did you realize that there was going to be a character on the autism spectrum, and did you um, feel like, really boy, this is weird on. that no, it was, that, that it it, like my whole life is coming together into this? It really this? did feel meant to be, and there's actually there's a really special moment in the film that for me in real life was so hard to separate myself from my character. Um, when something happens to Billy in the film, it really affected me as a big sister because I felt like. Wow, in the movie I'm losing my like a brother, but in real life like I can't imagine what it would feel like to lose my brother, you know what I mean? And so, um, how special his character is in the movie and what a pivotal um, character he is in so many of the situations. It's just like, I can't, you know, in real life I can't imagine what life would be at without my brother. So, it was a really special moment to know that, okay, this is, you know, this is kind of 
this is breaking new grounds, you know, it's the first autistic superhero, and to know that it was done, again, in such a classy way that I think was done beautifully, it was, it was really awesome. And so, Alex, have you seen the movie yet? Have you seen Power Rangers? Uh, yes, I have. I went to the premiere with my family and with my sister, and I was able to experience the, the full movie, including all my favorite Billy parts. <laughs> and, and were you proud of... Uh, so, your big sister? Yes. Were you proud well, of big sister? big little sister. Right, I was going to say. big sister. That, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Were you proud of her? Oh, I was... Like, every moment Billy would pop up, I would always turn to my sister and just... There's always those moments where it's like, it directly connects to me. Like, there's one action that Billy does, and it's like, wait a minute, I did that. Claps. Yeah, his little claps. <laughs> and sometimes he, like, self-debates with himself. <laughs> and I would just stare at my sister like, you said something to him, didn't you? <laughs> and, like, he just sort of just, you know, came to me like, oh, my God. Becky told him about what I would do since I'm on the spectrum, and that he... Just yeah, he took that and showed it on the screen in the best possible way ever. Where it sort of just breaks how what people think a person on the spectrum would be to what a person actually is on the spectrum. Right. Which is a, what this entire film festival has been about, showing some, you know, as as Matt Asner has been saying, fifteen different windows exactly. into the world of autism out of the millions that are there. Um, I, I, what do you think about the first ever? Festival Art Fest for films featured because I'm wondering maybe next year they'll they'll show the power screen the Power I Rangers. I would love that. I think that would be amazing. Wouldn't that be? And yeah. what what do you think about this film festival, Alex? I think it's amazing. It's a very great cause to show everyone uh, how amazing someone with such a, unique a, a, a uniqueness and such a, a disability that you would think that it's tough to handle. But Sadly not. once you see it in our eyes, it it just changes the world differently. Like it gives us like a different point of view, good or bad. And just with support and stuff, it just helps us out through our lives. And at the end of the day, it's sort of like, wow, well, maybe it gives that, people perspective. Yeah, it gives people perspective. I think perspective. more understanding of, of what it, like I said, what it is to be in their shoes. Exactly. So, what are you guys going on to next? What's next for you, Becky? Well, Alex is high school life right now, so he's a. Cruising, now, see, you uh, you look like such a mature individual. You look more college to me than high school. <laughs> he said, "Uh." uh but yeah, you're still in high school. Yeah, because he was very excited. He brought the suit out tonight. But yeah, yes. still in high school. Style. Doing really well. Um, do you know what you want to do after high school? Um, well, college, hopefully. Right. And then after that, this is I don't know, something uh, game design, engineering, oh, culinary. Oh, very cool. He has very lots of different passions. Okay. <laughs> and what about for you? For me, on well, of course, the release of Power Rangers was a really big thing for me as an actress. It was my first film and an honor to be a part of. So that's out now for the world to see, which is amazing. Yes. And um, working on my Spanish album, my first album, which is really... Wow. Like, kind of for me, very exciting because obviously I'm very proud to be Latina and um, I looked up to so many different artists, right, who dabbled into both worlds, like Jennifer Lopez or Selena Quintanilla or Shakira, who um, are so unapologetically themselves and, and just own that. And so, obviously, growing up listening to English and Spanish music, um, I was making English music for so long that I was like, maybe it's time, and I just decided to do it. So it'll be out soon for everyone to listen to, and I can't wait for them to be able to indulge and enjoy it just as much as I did. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much. What a thank wonderful you. set of siblings you are supporting each other. <laughs> um, that's the way that it should be, yes. and we're thrilled to see you tonight out here supporting Fest, and so hope much. we see you at many, many more events. Thank you. Good luck to both awesome. of you. Thank you.